employment makes you the hero of your own life and really helps you write your story. And that includes people who have a significant disability. This is just such a great time to talk about community integrated employment. So folks working in the community, there's just so much discussion around diversity, equity, and inclusion. And that really should include people who have significant disabilities. It just really gives him a purpose, gives him a reason to uh, take care of himself. I work hard. I get good money. <laughs> So I just love Stephen's story. He just brings this energy and excitement and really positive spirit to the work environment. And I think you're gonna see how community employment has really helped Stephen write his own story. Everybody needs a chance to do something they can succeed at. Community employment is such a great way for an employee to succeed to advance in the job, to not just be doing repetitive, same task all day long, every day. People with disabilities have a high retention rate and that shows loyalty, you know, to the company and can show, make a good image on the company. So Jacob, in transitioning from the school environment, from special ed, he's a perfect example of, of how that can just be such a smooth transition. So he had some experience through a program called Project Search, which really gave him experience in a hospital setting. From there, he took those uh, job exploration and, and that ex skills that he had, and then moved right into employment here at the Omni Hotel. And that was his goal, really to get a job after graduating high school. And it's just such a great example of how that can work just so seamlessly and how you can look at employment first. Give them a chance to work and um, it will show, you know, the community that, you know, it's okay to uh, work with people with disabilities and it could give them more, um, you know, support. I think it's a good thing to do. My name is Barbara and my sister Tammy works for DRTC. Since she's been working there, she's just like a whole different person. Tammy is currently working in our vocational services program and that's something called center-based. So that's a, a training program for paid training. But Tammy has really big goals. She has really high hopes. Uh, Tammy would like to work in a hospital setting. I believe she would like to become a nurse. My buddy because I used to help him when he was really sick and like he was struggling with something, I would help him. And he inspired me. He said, you would become a good nurse. So he's the one that inspired me to go do that. Tammy is very ambitious and she is a great example of somebody that's really reimagining that future. And she's making a plan with her sister for community employment. And I know she's going to accomplish that. I understand about being unsure uh, and, and really looking at, you know, this is a risk. Uh, it's a risk to step out. It's a risk to really take a look at uh, going into the community uh, and being employed. It was a big change. Even the first time I saw her after she started working here, it's like she grew up overnight. She has something to look forward to. There's a real dignity in taking a risk. And everything in our life, when we look at it, that, that we value, that really gives us that quality of life, it started with a risk. And that can be small, that can be measured, that can be calculated, but it all starts with a risk. I would love for parents and caregivers to understand that they have to be involved. And I know we as an agency want that to be a big part of the move to community integrated employment. My first thought was, wow, she has learned so much in such a short amount of time, in my opinion. I thought that she did really well when she showed me what she does. People who have developmental disabilities, it's so important for them to be able to see themselves in the community. And that may take exploration, that may take some new experiences, that will take being in new environments, and that will, that will take, again, those steps and stepping out and taking some risks. Just go for it. Be supportive 
You know, our loved ones who have different abilities than we do are just as capable of serving our community and uh, being independent and taking care of themselves, um, usually more than we even know. You all have given Tammy an opportunity that she may not have had anywhere else. And, uh, and it has completely changed our lives for the better. So thank you.